Hi, I'm Pip from Baby TK and today I'm going to tell you about the advantages of travelling in the car with a newborn in a flat or near flat position. For many decades, SIDS was at epidemic levels across the world, but in 1991 the UK government changed its advice on the position a baby sleeps in, and immediately cot death as it was known dropped by around 80%. The position was to place a newborn on their back, and that advice was initiated by Professor Peter Fleming, OBE from Bristol University. He shares a place in history as one of the world's greatest scientists and it's estimated that his research has saved 100,000 newborn babies' lives across the globe. In 2016, Professor Fleming, along with Dr Renu Arya, released a medical research report that was published in the British Medical Journal concerning the safety of newborns in car seats. The report concluded that in the early days of life, around 40% of newborns did not fit into their car seat properly and often their head flopped forward into a position that would compromise their breathing. For many decades, it has been known that all sitting devices with steep or sharp angles can be dangerous for a newborn, but Professor Fleming's research introduced the extra factor of vibration, simulating driving conditions on a completely straight road at 30 miles an hour. It should be noted that the simulator did not speed up or slow down. Since the publication, some UK newspapers have sensationalised the report, but I want to give you the basic facts after one of my colleagues met with Professor Fleming at a seminar to discuss his findings, held in London on Wednesday the 9th of November 2016. In a nutshell, in terms of road traffic accidents, car seats are incredibly safe. They save dozens of children's lives every year, particularly in relation to children under the age of four. In 2012, not a single child aged under one died in the UK in a road traffic accident, and this is the case most years, though it should be added that a significant number are injured. Even when injuries do occur, it's often the case that the car seat was not fitted correctly or that it didn't fit the car properly. Sadly, as the child gets older, accident statistics get much worse, and this is often because they're sitting on a booster seat or not in a car seat at all. But for a newborn, the car seat in terms of health can be a risk because of the angle and possible vibration. Professor Fleming's research has proven that car seats angled at 30 degrees in the car or less are best. His research compared newborn's heart rates and blood oxygen levels whilst a newborn was static in a car seat, in simulated motion at 30 degrees and at simulated motion at 40 degrees. From these graphs you can see that as the angle increases, a newborn's stress level increases. Of particular concern is the sharp lowering of blood oxygen levels as the angles increase. Very low blood oxygen levels are just not healthy, as they can cause a huge variety of medical conditions, including possible brain damage, and in the very most extreme cases, even death. Because of these stresses, Professor Fleming recommends that journeys in the first few weeks of life should be restricted to 30 minutes or so when using a conventional car seat. Again, using 2012 statistics, 265 babies died in SIDS incidents, and this figure, compared to just 30 years ago, is really low. But we know a significant percentage of SIDS victims were positioned in an upright sitting position, and obviously a conventional car seat is one such device. So what is the best advice? Well, firstly, consider buying a lie flat car seat or one with a lower angle. Most car seats that are suitable for a newborn are angled at 40 degrees or more, but there are already a few on the market that are lie flat or near lie flat. Unlike a conventional car seat, there are no time limits when using these seats. The Kiddie Eva Lunafix looks like an everyday infant carrier, but offers good crash test results and fits onto many different pushchairs to make a travel system. Kiddie also make another car seat called the Eva Luna I-Size and this offers slightly better crash test results and has been tested to the very latest eye size safety standards. My niece Zara is in one of these car seats and my sister reports that it's a brilliant car seat. The only negatives that she finds is that it's a bit heavy and that it's difficult to move it from one car to another because not everybody in the family has an Isofix equipped car. The Hano Matrix Lite 2 is a multi-position car seat and one of the positions is lie flat. In this position, Matrix spans across two of the car's seats. Matrix also fits onto all Hano pushchairs and the Bugaboo Chameleon to make a great travel system. As an added bonus, Hano car seats are crash tested up to 53 miles an hour, so they're really safe. We can't recommend that you use the rear facing position until your baby reaches six months or so, 
but again, Matrix has very good crash test results both in the lie flat and the rear facing positions. Matrix can also be secured using the car's seat belts, so invariably it will go into most cars safely. If you wish, you can also buy a revolving Isofix platform to use with the Matrix. Consumers love this option and at the time of filming the Matrix platform has got a feedback score of 4.5 stars out of a possible 5 on Amazon. My niece Isabel and my nephew Spencer were in the Matrix light and their mums report that the Matrix was heavy but it's really easy to use with the platform and it's great for moving a sleeping baby from a car to a pushchair. Another alternative to consider is the Be Cool Twice. These aren't as easy to find in the UK and aren't as simple to fit as the Matrix or the Kiddie models but we are looking at stocking them in the future as they offer a lay flat option similar to the Matrix and they're great for parents on a budget. Other alternatives may be to look at an in-car carry cot which are available from both Hannay and Concord and in coming months other low angle car seats may well become available. Turning to more conventional infant carriers, if you are using one of these it is perfectly safe to do so but Professor Fleming's advice is to limit journeys to around 30 minutes in those first few weeks and months and if possible have someone sit alongside baby during travel. As baby gets older you can increase the journey times but ensure you take very regular breaks. At no time should you use a car seat other than a matrix, twice or car carry cot as a sleeping device in the home and at no time in the first few months should you use a conventional steep angle infant carrier on a push chair as a travel system. I do hope you found this video useful and please remember that as a rule when sleeping or in a car seat the flatter the better in the early months of life.